1999 Subaru Impreza RS. Hey, real quick before we start this video, a lot of you guys have been asking for team shirts. Finally, Auto House has t-shirts, so it would really help out a lot if you supported the shop, got some merch, some shirts, stickers, support the media work, support me and my dog. Check out that merch store so I don't starve, you guys. Of course, got another special surprise at the Auto House. This customer has been waiting a very long time on the wait list to get in and I'm really sorry, but that's just kind of how it is right now until I can find someone to help me out. But here it is, 1999 Subaru Impreza RS. This is pretty special. Um, immediately, we see we have the JDM bumper in the front. Check out that hood scoop. This engine is actually from a 2003 WRX. The owner tells me that this dynoed at 270 wheel horsepower and after the road test, it certainly feels like it. I apologize. You can obviously see this is a work in progress, but by that same token, we are doing a ton of work to this car and it will absolutely be worth it once we're finished and the owner gets his car back. So some small things we did. Of course, with any project like this, we do a full comprehensive inspection of the car. See if there's any leaks, rattles, anything loose, any safety items, any updates that the car needs. So in this instance, all these engine bay fuel lines got replaced. Some of the original clamps were just regular worm gear clamps and these actually need these fuel injection style clamps. So we we replace the incorrect clamps with the correct ones. This fuel filler neck was actually cracked and probably because someone was over tightening this PCB adapter. So new filler neck, this valve cover gasket was also leaking. These valve covers are always fun because there's so much stuff to replace. So this breather has a gasket, this filler neck, if you weren't gonna replace the filler neck, has an O-ring there like eight grommets, I think. In the back of the cylinder head, there's two half moons to seal up. Oh yeah, and then two spark plug tube seals. There's a Cobb intake I have off right now. Really interesting, this swap, I can tell from the hundreds and hundreds, I would say thousands of Subarus I've worked on, this engine either sits higher or the frame rails are lower on this RS because I can easily get to these coil packs. I know in the O3 WRX, I'm unbolting the engine mount and jacking up one engine side to side so I can access the spark plugs. But that this was a pleasant surprise as we replaced a couple coil packs and a coil pack boot that was damaged on this car. Some of you with a keen Subaru eye will notice something special about this transmission. This shift knob doesn't lie, 04 STI drivetrain swap. This also must be a STI swapped cluster because I know it's got the, uh, what is it, like DCCD, I have the battery disconnected right now, but it's got a bunch of a bunch of warning lights that only a six-speed has. So this must have a cluster swap also. Um, pretty cool that it actually works with this car. As I was talking about the cluster, I saw this cup holder. Let's see how this thing works. Oh, well, oh, kind of sticky, but yeah, pretty cool. I wonder if that's like a JDM cup holder. Looks like there's another one on the other side. Also pretty rare, it's a two-door RS, which seems to be the most desirable. Also the JDM wing and third brake light. We actually need to diagnose why that third brake light doesn't work. Extra. And I'm curious about these spats. These are pretty cool too, but is this a JDM bumper? Is this just a knockoff add-on? Or am I being disrespectful? Uh, someone let us know in the comments below. Get a better look at this hood, the signature RS vents. And then again, is this, some sort of special hood vent. Is this the JDM hood vent? Is this, is this just a very big hood vent? Will women like me if my hood vent is this big? All right, so my favorite part, let's check out the underside. Uh, STI N1 engine mounts. We just installed these guys, replacing those worn out engine mounts this had. I actually kept the original, uh, I guess you would call these engine mount brackets because if we see here, they actually have these welded in heat shields to protect the engine mounts from the exhaust. So the ones that came with these N1 mounts did not have this heat shield. So I thought this was a way better alternative to keep the stock ones. Yeah, just fixing some safety issues. 
Um, ball joints on both sides. These boots were torn. This wheel bearing was in terrible shape. I'll list some pictures of how badly the wheel bearing job was performed on this last time. But yeah, surprisingly, you could not feel it when you drove the car, but this wheel bearing was absolutely terrible. I could rock this wheel way back and forth. Super dangerous. Pretty cool. Again, 04 STI full drivetrain swap. So six speed trans, drive shaft, and then you absolutely have to have the same diff to match. Um, I've seen these swaps go wrong where the diff blows up because the ratios on the diff and the transmission do not match. It's hard to see, but this axle seal, oh, I guess it's not hard to see. There's the leak right there. This axle seal actually leaks. You need a special tool to remove this sundial as some of these six speeds, you can actually pop this seal out. In this case, the seal sits under that sundial, so you need to remove the whole sundial to get the seal out. So I have a special tool on order. Also fun, 04 I think is a split year, so <laughs> two different style seals. I ordered the wrong one originally, so I gotta wait until next week to get the new one. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, nice meaty downpipe. I forgot what the owner told me, but looking, there's a resonator, so this must be some sort of OEM cat back. I believe he said this is the JDM catback, but I cannot be absolutely sure. Someone let us know in the comments below, please. Yeah, you can see STI rear diff. Unfortunately, the temp sensor got mangled and uh, again, obviously that guy's not plugged in, but um, also really cool. The owner told me these are hybrid axles. So these are built for, I believe, three or 400 horsepower. And so I think they're not only stronger in the CV joints, but also it's like STI on this side. And I imagine it's RS uh, stub on this side. And then pretty cool, you can see the OEM pink STI suspension parts. Did an axle seal in this guy too. So yeah, here's that STI oil pan. You can see the baffling on the inside. I believe it's been a long time since I worked for the dealer, but I believe you could tell that it was a STI pan because when you drain the oil, it would come out in like a weird pattern, like not normal from a regular WRX. And I believe it was because the baffling inside this guy. Too bad we're not gonna use that silicone today. Um, a few pro tips. It used to be in school, they taught you to go behind the bolt circle with the RTV, but recently, Staying up to date with Permatex, they ask you to circle the bolt holes. So that's exactly what I do now. If the manufacturer wants you to circle the bolt holes, I am absolutely gonna follow their instructions. And yeah, again, pro tip, if you're in this situation like me, instead of wiping this stuff off when, you're, when it's wet, I'm gonna wait and let this thing cure, and then I could probably peel back this silicone and get it out in layers of string rather than having to, you know, take a wire wheel or something to this to scrape off the silicone that I just smeared off. And again, here's that cutout. I know the owner's got some fancy headers that uh, requires an STI pan. The OEM pan is like full depth, so. Which is kind of curious because wouldn't that decrease oil capacity? I also think it's hilarious. This O-ring is horrendously expensive retail. I think it's like 20 or $30 for this stupid piece of rubber. Every time I had to order this as a dealer tech, I thought it was hilarious. And yeah, just some other parts for that STI oil pan conversion. You need the STI oil dipstick, dipstick tube. I do not know why these don't just come together. And you need the STI pickup, which you can see I ordered the wrong one. They call it an oil strainer. That's it for this 1999 Subaru Impreza RS that's been swapped and swapped. Make sure to like and subscribe for more of this content. Leave a comment in the description below. I know you guys probably spotted that car right behind me, but not today. Not in my house. That's for next time. Thanks for the support, you guys. Next time, next time.